Today marks the start of confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. It is expected to be a busy month there on Capitol Hill with Republicans trying to get that nomination approved by October 1st. Our Matt McCutcheon is following this story for us this morning. And Matt, there's an issue over some records here. What's going on? Yeah, good morning to you. That's just one topic making headlines in this story here this morning. This is a live look right now at the Capitol in Washington, D.C., where those hearings are set to begin in just a little bit more than three hours. And this all comes nearly two months after President Trump chose Kavanaugh to replace retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy. As for Democrats, they are expected to grill the 53-year-old conservative on several hot-button issues. They have concerns about a potential fight over issues like gun control and abortion, along with challenges to the health care plan. They also take issue with the Trump administration withholding records on Kavanaugh's time as a lawyer in the Bush White House. The administration is hiding 100,000 pages of his records so that not only can the Senate not see it, the American people can't see it. That's just not right. And it really raises the question, what is it that they're trying to hide here? Now, Republicans are countering that, saying they just released 42,000 documents. However, that's not necessarily related to what Democrats are wanting to see. They are focusing on Kavanaugh's 12-year career as an appellate court judge. Republicans are generally in favor of confirming Kavanaugh, which could really shift the Supreme Court's power balance to the right. So a lot here to watch in the day ahead. All right, so get started today. How long are the hearings expected to last? should start today about 9.30 in D.C. It's expected to take three to four days, which means by Friday everything could be in place. Of course, we'll have to wait and see if there are any surprises that could brew along the sure. way. Sure. A lot of eyes on, of course, Joe Donnelly to see how he'll vote on this confirmation hearing. Matt, thank you very much for breaking it down for us. Okay.